On Thursday, President Joe Biden delivered an address about the soul of America. During his speech, Biden said he has never been more optimistic about the direction the nation is headed. The president continued to slam what he described as MAGA Republicans, saying they, quote, believe that for them to succeed, everyone else has to fail, while Biden touted America as an equal opportunity nation. Biden encouraged Americans to preserve democracy through their character and by voting. Look, I know the last year, a few years have been tough, but today, COVID no longer controls our lives. More Americans are working than ever. Businesses are growing. Our schools are open. Millions of Americans have been lifted out of poverty. Millions of veterans once exposed to toxic burn pits will now get what they deserve for their families and the compensation. American manufacturers come alive across the heartland, and the future will be made in America. No matter what the white supremacists and the extremists say, I made a bet on you, the American people, and that bet is paying off, proving that from darkness, the darkness of Charlottesville, of COVID, of gun violence, of insurrection, we can see the light. Light is now visible. Light that will guide us forward, not only in words, but in actions, actions for you, for your children, for your grandchildren, for America. Even in this moment, with all the challenges we face, I give you my word as a Biden, I've never been more optimistic about America's future. Not because of me, but because of who you are. We're going to end cancer as we know it. Mark my words. We're going to create millions of new jobs in a clean energy economy. We're going to think big. We're going to make the 21st century another American century, because the world needs us to. That's where we need to focus our energy, not in the past, not on divisive culture wars, not on the politics of grievance, but on a future we can build together. The MAGA Republicans believe that for them to succeed, everyone else has to fail. They believe America is not like I believe about America. I believe America is big enough for all of us to succeed. And that is the nation we're building, the nation where no one is left behind. I ran for president because I believe we're in a battle for the soul of this nation. I still believe that to be true. I believe the soul is the breath the life and the essence of who we are. The soul is what makes us us. The soul of America is defined by the sacred proposition that all are created equal in the image of God, that all are entitled to be treated with decency, dignity, and respect, that all deserve justice and a shot at lives of prosperity and consequence, and that democracy, democracy must be defended for democracy makes all these things possible. <laughs> Folks. And it's up to us. Democracy begins and will be preserved in we, the people's habits of the heart, in our character, optimism that is tested yet endures, courage that digs deep when we need it, Empathy that fuels democracy, the willingness to see each other not as enemies, but as fellow Americans. Look, our democracy is imperfect. It always has been. Notwithstanding those folks you hear on the other side there, they're entitled to be outrageous. This is a democracy. But history and common sense Good manners is nothing they've ever suffered from. But history and common sense tell us that opportunity, liberty, and justice for all are most likely to come to pass in a democracy. We have never fully realized the aspirations of our founding, but every generation has opened those doors a little bit wider to include more people who have been excluded before. My fellow Americans, America is an idea the most powerful idea in the history of the world, and it beats in the hearts of the people of this country. It beats in all our hearts.
It unites America. It is the American creed, the idea that America guarantees that everyone be treated with dignity. It gives hate no safe harbor. It installs in everyone the belief that no matter where you start in life, there's nothing you can't achieve. That's who we are. That's what we stand for. That's what we believe. And that's precisely what we're doing. Opening doors, creating possibilities, focusing on the future. And we're only just beginning. Our task is to make our nation free and fair, just and strong, noble and whole. And this work is the work of democracy, the work of this generation. It is the work of our time, for all time. We can't afford to have, leave anyone on the sidelines. We need everyone to do their part. So speak up, speak out, get engaged, vote, vote, vote. And if we do our duty, if we do our duty in 2022 and beyond, then ages still to come will say, we, all of us here, we kept the faith. We preserved democracy. We heeded our worst. We, we heeded not our worst instincts, but our better angels. We, we proved that for all its imperfections, America is still the beacon to the world, an ideal to be realized, a promise to be kept. There's nothing more important, nothing more sacred, Nothing more American. That's our soul. That's who we truly are. And that's who must, we must always be. I have no doubt, none, that this is who we will be and that we'll come together as a nation that will secure our democracy, that for the next 200 years, we'll have what we had the past 200 years, the greatest nation on the face of the earth, we just need to remember who we are. We are the United States of America, the United States of America.